Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is May the 26th. It's a day to celebrate because finally we reopened the New York Stock Exchange after two months of electronic trading only. New York Governor, Governor Cuomo even went to ring the bell to open the stock exchange at 9.30. Finally, after two months, we see somebody real person on the trading floor so that's very exciting day for all of the investors of the world because new york stock exchange is the largest stock exchange in the whole world on may the 22nd i made a video on how to earn 12,000 us dollar in dividends a year without actually holding a stock that is a whopping 1,000 US dollar per month. Since then, I have been receiving some comments, questions, as well as suggestions. So I feel the need to make a part two of the video to add on to this original video to explain some points that I probably have been missing or I did not mention in the original video. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, let me get a shout out for Paul Vasquez because I named this original video as Dividend Hack. But look at his comment. He said, I call this Dividend Harvesting. Thank you, Paul. And I think it is. In order to harvest dividends, you have many ways to do. And this Dividend Hack actually help you to harvest the dividend in a different way. Okay, one thing I have to clarify that is the $50,000 that I used in the original video, it's only a hypothetical number. In no means that I suggest you to use $50,000 to invest in anything that you don't feel comfortable with. It could be just $500. It could be just $5,000. I just used $50,000 to illustrate it's easier for me to calculate the numbers. Or it could be $5 million. Actually, you can earn $1.2 million in dividend alone in one year. Use this method that I mentioned. Actually, the large institutional investors are the ones use this method the most. They can earn millions and millions of dollars in dividends without actually holding stocks. What you do with your money is totally up to you. You don't have to use any if you don't feel comfortable at all, just like Warren Buffett, right? He holds $137 billion in cash. No matter what he uses, it is whatever he sees fit to his investing strategy. If he doesn't feel comfortable, like he said, I don't see anything with value and then he don't buy, he just hold it as cash. So as every investors, after you watch this video, I hope you understand whatever you do with your money is totally up to you. You can still do buy and hold method, the traditional dividend investing method, but this is just another way or additional streams of income that you can make. It's just like I'm saying, knock, knock. Do you know there's another way to earn big dividends without even holding a stock? So just consider this as additional stream of income, not your major income from the dividend investing. So if you are already a swing trader, why not add this dividend hack for extra cash, right? When you trade stocks, you buy and sell instead of a stock without dividend, you add a dividend stocks so you can earn the capital gain from buying and selling for the stock price appreciation, as well as add the dividend income as partial of your trading. So it's actually boost up your earnings. To do this hack, you do need to set up a schedule for each month. Study the charts, some fundamentals to see if you should or should not do this hack for any particular stock. If after your own research, the answer is no, then abort the mission and move on to the next reputable stock. 
To use this method successfully, you have to choose reputable stocks to avoid dividend trap, meaning you have to buy and then to sell. Sell in the green, meaning you can still earn the stock appreciation when you finish earning your dividend. So you cannot just go into any dividend stocks. In this method, it's not the higher the dividend, the better. You have to have those reputable stocks like Microsoft, AbV, AT&T, Apple, etc. This method is the best to be used in the bear market, market uncertainty, recession, or upcoming market crash. It doesn't make sense if it is a strong bull market like we just had in the past 10 to 11 years, because in the strong bull market, the stocks has nowhere to go but up, right? So it doesn't make sense if you buy and then you sell after three months, you buy again, and then you sell again just to earn dividends. You might have just leave the stocks in the stock portfolio, let it grow, let it appreciate, and then still earn the dividend while you're waiting for the stock to be appreciated. But that doesn't work in this recession or upcoming stock market crash. The biggest advantage of using this method, that is buy and sell and take the dividend and run, is to protect your principal money or your asset value as compared to you put the money, buy and hold in a portfolio and only watch the price or the value to evaporate during a stock market crash. Also, it can be compared to that you put your cash in a high yield savings account only to earn 1.25% annual interest rate. In this method, your dividend yield is actually infinite. Although in my video, I said for you to earn $12,000 in annual dividend, you have $50,000 cash to do this method on paper is 24% earning or return. However, think about that. If you buy and sell and then all your cash, $50,000 coming back to your pocket. So there is no 24% is infinite return. You just created that $12,000 out of thin air. On the other hand, this method can be done in your Roth IRA account for no tax consequences, or you can do it in rollover IRA account to have the tax deferred effect. So you don't have to actually buy and sell a stock and worry about paying tax every year because you may do it in your individual account or you can do it in Roth IRA account totally to avoid the tax to protect its capital gain as well as the dividend earned. Use this buy and sell method to earn dividends. You can still take advantage of compounding as if you are doing the investing buy and hold in your stock portfolio because every time when you buy and sell in profit, you can add that profit plus the dividend earnings back to your original cash value. Then next time when you repeat the procedure, you can use larger cash amount from the compounding to do another buy and sell trading to earn the dividend earning in the meantime. You may argue use this method, you probably have to put in lots of extra work, but so as swing traders, if you are already a swing trader or you are just regular investor, you understand in order to invest or in order to do a successful trading, you actually needed to do a lot of work ahead of time on the side to become successful. So this part, it shouldn't be much of a problem. As what they say, no pain, no gain. As long as you're putting the best effort in, you will be rewarded handsomely. I will end this video by saying that there are actually many ways to earn money from the stock market. As long as you have an open mind to learn new skills, the money will just come to your way. In my next video, I will mention several top pick dividend paying stocks that will have X dividend date in June. So stay tuned. If you like today's video, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment.
comment and share the video with whoever you think will be benefit from today's video and also do not forget to smash that notification bell so you'll be the first one to know when my new video comes out thank you